All right, here we've got the DeForest Acillion power tube that I made earlier for the um, Acillion transmitter. Unfortunately, it went bad. It leaked. Uh, we can see the getter's completely gone in there. The, the air is eating it up. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is see if we can find where it's leaking and see if it would be um, possible to, to just uh, put a new filament in it and reuse it. But if it's one of the seals, then that won't work. Um, so to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to seal a, uh, a stem. I'm going to seal a stem onto the, uh, uh, onto the bottom of the tube so we can go ahead and um, put it on the leak detector. And we'll see whether the, uh, whether the uh, seals are leaking or if uh, there's some other. I've inspected it and I don't see any cracks in the glass. Sometimes there will be a, a minute crack in the glass, but I don't see any at all. So the first thing to do is we're going to go ahead and put that stem on there. And that will make it to where we can uh, pull a vacuum on it and test it. Okay, we got our blowpipe. We're gonna put a little pressure. Hey, we're just gonna stick it right onto there. Hopefully. Okay, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna warm it up so we don't crack the envelope. We'll just let that heat sink into there to where the uh, seal is uh, thoroughly uh, warmed up. All right. let that cool off a little bit slowly there, evenly, and that should take care of it. Okay, now what we're going to do, we'll take that and put it in a leak detector. 
and we're going to find out where the leak is on that thing. You can see, we're not getting down, we're not getting down past 10, 10 torr, so um, we got a big leak in this tube. All right, now what I'm going to do first, I'm going to squirt a little liquid on the top seals here and see if we see a change in the pressure. Right now the, um, the vacuum pump is running full blast on there, pulling that down, trying to pull it down. It just balanced out at 10 torr. So I'm going to squirt a little fluid on here and see Okay, we got no change whatsoever when we did that, so that's not where the leak is. All right, now there's a place on the glass here, not there. Okay, I'm going to squirt it up inside there into the inside seal. Okay, you see it change? So the inside seal is where the leak is, so that seal is not salvageable, it's, it's junk. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, and we can shut this down. So, the, the leak, the leak is in the seals down here. That's the, uh, the pinch seal has got the leak. So, we're going to have to cut it and completely dispose of the inter internal. In other words, we're going to have to rebuild the entire tube. All right, first thing we do is we cut it open. Alright, the next thing we're going to do, we got two wires that come and seal into here, and we're going to have to cut that seal off and um, get it out of there, okay? We got that broken. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of pliers and I'm going to go ahead and shatter that and then we can pull it out. Okay, and there's our envelope which we'll be able to reuse. And here is the guts, the filament is completely destroyed. It's no good because it's exposed to air. Okay, and that pinch is no good. So only thing we can do, we can save the grid and we can save the um, plate, but all the rest of it is junk. We, we need a new flare to go on the bottom and we need a, um, need a new pinch, new, new, new uh, pinch and we need the new filament. First thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the plate these getters are no good. <clears throat> okay, and we'll get the plate. Cut it off of there. Alright. Now, these little wires can be got off of here. Off 
wood. Okay. Now, the plate is in good shape. We can use that again. All right, now, here's our grid. All right, I'm just going to cut. our grid. Okay, we're going to put a new piece of tungsten wire on it. Okay, and this is all junk right here. All right, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. We need seven feed-throughs. Okay. All right, so the next thing to do, we have to make a new uh, flare and pinch. Back over to the glass blowing area. Okay, we got a flare here. Nowhere near big enough. It has to be big enough to seal on the back of the uh, tube here. So this is too small. Okay, let me get the tubing. Okay, here's what we used before. our flare. perfectly into there. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we got to clean this up. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to warm the envelope up a little bit. Make sure we don't crack it. Cool. Okay, the next thing to do is we have to uh, make up the uh, electrode. Seven electrodes. We only have two that go through the filament. The uh, plate and the grid go out the top. 
makes it a little bit easier. We only have two seals to make, which makes it a little less likely to be bad, it's, which is why I don't understand this one leaking. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Crack in the glass. See it right there? That was a stress crack where we sealed this uh, the evacuation stem onto it. There's a crack that went up in there. Okay, that's where it was. Okay, we have a complete failure. You hear the, the pump bubbling and bubbling because the joint right here has cracked. Okay, let me go ahead and shut that down. Look right there. See right across there. See that line? That's a crack. See right over here? See if I can get it. If you look, something to point with. See right there? Crack. So um, it's cracked all the way up into the seal area and everything. So this tube is nothing but, hey, a model to put in the uh, failed tube box. <laughs> oh well, win some, lose some. That's that.